my friends and welcome to Let's Get Retro with the C-Scope 990B. As you'll probably tell in a minute, I recorded this video uh, a couple of days ago before all of this lovely snow arrived. So in this series of videos, I'm gonna be using older, retro, vintage even, C-Scope machines. We just thought it would be a little bit of fun just to see how they do. And the 990 was made in 1984. <laughs> Can you believe that, 1984, that is fantastic. My friend Mark, who did pretty well out of these machines in the 80s and 90s, uh, says that this was the, the posh machine at the time. This is the machine that everybody wanted. I just want to ask you a question though. Put, put your answer in the comments below. Do you think that we, uh, in the future, with um, like uh, detectors that have lots and lots of really, really good technology, find more items than these machines did back in the 80s? Of course, metal detecting is still a very new hobby. And back then, you've got to remember there's thousands and thousands of years history just like lying in the ground. And I'm pretty sure that these did quite well. <laughs> Put your comments below. Anyway, let's go see how I did. I think I might have a signal here. See? It's non-motion. You hold it there, it acts as like a, what we'd call a pinpointer on a modern machine. I'm going to dig that. <laughs> and it was a signal. Just a bit of, a wee little bit of lead. <laughs> okay, this is tenuous. Can we sign it depth there, actually? Hear that? Yeah, sign it now, I'm digging that. Well, I've got no idea what that is, but it is, yes, a bit of something. <laughs> and that little signal was a, uh, a button. Can you believe something from all that time ago? I can just still find stuff which I tend to find all the time in my hunts with modern machines. That is just remarkable. That is crazy. Right, here's another little subtle one. They're all subtle. Here. It's all about that breaking threshold rather than a beep. I love the non-motion as well, but you just go, Hup. there you go, that's a pinpointer. Move it away. No need to press anything. That's cool. More machines did that. Right, let's dig this in. Now that's a very small and sharp piece of metal. Very thin as well. It's quite impressive that it managed to pick that up. It's only a couple of inches down, but still impressive nonetheless. And that was just a, a bit of tin, I think. Is that tin? Looks like tin, doesn't it? Yeah. Now that is the strongest one yet. Look at the uh, signal on the uh, top of the spaceship there. The control deck if you will. That's a beauty! Let's dig it! Ah, <laughs> it's a 303! Okay, that's another really strong target. What if it's another 303 shell? Let's dig it! Ugh. I bet you found a lot of this stuff in the 80s. Hey, here we have another signal. Let's dig that! Ah, oh, no! <laughs> okay, I'm only going to film this once, but just presume that I've dug about 20 of these. <laughs> Which I have! Oh, wow! That's an old, old. There's lots of that going on. That one's kind of wispy. Actually, that's no, pretty strong. It's pretty strong when I'm... Yeah, it's very strong. Okay, let's dig that. Ah, no, just a shotgun shell on that occasion. <laughs> Another good one, what I'd call a stonker, I think. Oh, God, that's got to be on the top, surely. That's about an inch down. And are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? 
look at that buckle. Still got the uh, still got the pin, the clasp on it. Oh wow! Because I'd be happy with that with any modern metal detector. That is bizarre. That is so bizarre. Then we got our first little button there. Look, a little button. Oh come on! And that one was literally sitting on the surface. <laughs> It's just another little button, look. Not bad. Another stonker. <laughs> That's about 35 years old. 35 years. And it's still picking up stuff that I would be quite happy to pick up with a modern metal detector. Three inches down, nothing. No, nothing great, obviously. This technology has moved on. It just doesn't feel like it's moved on that quickly. We're going in. I, th I think that that's just a little iron tack or a little iron nail. Maybe work for that. Now that is a very interesting piece of something. Wow, I wonder what that was. It was really far away when uh, I swung over it, but I thought I'd go for it. I'm glad I trusted my instinct on that. Imagine if that was whole. I've got no idea what it is. Some sort of elaborate strap end, maybe? I've got a feeling that's gonna... It's obviously got some age to it, but I mean... Oh. Oh. Well, it did have some age to it until I lost it again. Has anybody got a metal detector? I think that's just a bit of lead. It was sitting on the surface. That's why it's such a good potent signal. I think it is anyway. I don't think that was too bad at all, was it? For a machine from 1984-ish, the 80s, 1984, um, I think it went all the way through the 80s, this machine. It, like, don't get me wrong, discrimination has come really, really far. Um, and I found a lot of uh, nails and bits of iron, of course, as you would expect. But I did find items which I would be happy to find with a modern machine buckles buttons and maybe perhaps that little strap end as well this to me is a piece of history it's a piece of history for the people who are in the hobby and it's easy just to like kind of laugh go oh, look at that old thing but wow the things that this machine uh, found back in the day are quite remarkable so there you go just a bit of fun with the CS990B I'll be trying another machine in the near future give us a subscribe below if you're interested in that and until then i shall see you in the next video